Um, landmarks remain identical and untouched. The damage done as the tornado rocked across the city is clearly obvious. Tonight, our coverage of the storms continue with News Channel 5's Michael Williams. He's the only local reporter live in Tuscaloosa tonight. And Michael, power is still out in many places. People just don't have anywhere to go, and it could be months or even longer before they recover from all of this, right? Good evening from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Behind me, one of the many, many scenes of devastation in this community. So many lives uprooted, and the mayor of Tuscaloosa, Walter Maddox, said to me about an hour ago that if they cannot find shelter for the many thousands he estimates are homeless, it will be a humanitarian crisis in the weeks ahead. But they are hoping for that kind of help from the federal level as this community tries to come together, tries to begin the long task of rebuilding. Power crews are working round the clock to bring light back to much of this broken, battered city. In the highlands, crews are clearing the toppled trees that once framed these old homes, a neighborhood stripped bare of its tranquility. Most of the homes here escaped serious damage. Most, but not Kathleen Kramer's. One of those falling trees split her home wide open. I could tell by the direction it was headed straight at us. It was like evil coming at you. We went and hid in the closet and um, I've never heard anything so loud in my life. Kramer had run at one point just before the storm hit to her garage to secure valuables. It almost cost her her life. I was probably about where that trash can is when it fell. We had two cars in there. So you barely escaped having the garage fall in on you? Yes, sir. The tornado raised an area a half mile wide or more through Tuscaloosa, leaving buildings just outside its path unscathed. Former Miami Dolphins all-pro nose tackle and Alabama grad Bob Baumhauer owns this restaurant just outside the devastation zone. He's one of the lucky ones. Amazing how uh, uh, these tornadoes uh, hit communities like this. We're fine here right around the corner is devastation. Stories of good fortune and bad of survival of a tornado that roared through in mere minutes on a meandering path of destruction that now forces so many lives to change course forever. Back live now, FEMA, the Federal Relief Agency, says it stands ready to assist the state of Alabama and places like Tuscaloosa in that recovery effort, but admits that it will be a daunting challenge for all to come up with enough temporary housing for the many thousands possibly who will need it as they get about the long task of trying to rebuild their shattered community. Reporting live from Tuscaloosa, Michael Williams, WPTV News Channel 5.